Hi guys, today I'll explain you about free radicals and what are its properties. So from my previous video on hyperconjugation and bond fission, you might have got a little idea about what is free radical. So basically free radical is nothing but any atom which is obtained, atom or a molecule which is obtained from a bond which is obtained from bond fission with a lone pair is known as a free radical. A good example for this is according to the previous videos chlorine bonded to chlorine under bond fission gives you two chlorine free radicals. Remember this dot represents lone pair or no bond pairs. Okay. I hope you understood up to this part but basically free radicals have few properties I'll explain you these properties but first I'll give you a few other examples examples like methyl free radical Similarly, ethyl free radical and etc. Free radical is actually nothing but a compound with a lone pair, so you don't have to worry about it much. But it is the properties that you have to care about. So, what are the properties? Basically, I'll start with its advantages or its plus properties. I'll just explain you I'll, I'll just explain them to you in brief so that you can remember them easily. Free radicals firstly are neutral neutral co uh, compounds. They are neutral. Next, they are highly unstable. Compared to anything else, they are very unstable and they undergo reactions readily with other free radicals to form compounds so there are basically three types of reactions which free radical takes play which free radical undergo and these are the basic um, equations or basic reactions for example as i said chlorine plus chlorine undergoes and forms chlorine Cl2 this is the first reaction the next one methyl plus so I just made a mistake here it's actually methane Methane plus Cl free radical. In this reaction, the free radical is converted into a proper compound, but the lone pair is transferred to another molecule. In this case, we'll form it will form methyl free radical and HCl. The next reaction is a type of dissipation reaction. I'll just explain with the example. It's acetate free radical. Let's take acetate free radical CH3COO. It's a free radical. Acetate free radical. It will undergo, it will form CH3 free radical, methyl free radical plus CO2. So these are the three reactions, types of reactions. Remember this just as a basic information. You don't get to apply this much unless you study more. Okay, the last is I'll explain you about the reactions which involve free radicals. I'll just give you the names. You don't have to go through them thoroughly. 
uh, one of the examples is words reaction words reaction the next is Kolb's electrolysis Kolb's electrolysis and one more is substitution reactions you'll get to know substitution reactions once you understand them you can see my other next videos if you want to know about substitution reactions reactions so these are a few types of reactions which involve free radicals now the last part the stability of a free radical this is very important okay and don't forget it so basically free radical is always stable with this series third degree free radical is more stable than second degree free radical is more stable than first degree is more stable than methyl free radical this is nothing but tertiary this is secondary this is primary and this is simple methyl tertiary example is nothing but carbon R R R free radical for secondary C R R H free radical and you can guess for primary it's hydrogen R hydrogen free radical so this is basically about the stability of free radical hope you guys understood you guys understood and please subscribe and thanks for watching